on a jet boat tour. Little calm one knows. Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet, to see all 50 states in a year. In our last video, we were in Wyoming at Yellowstone National Park, where we watched an amazing sunrise at Mammoth Hot Springs, experienced the iconic Old Faithful Geyser in action, and ended our day hanging out with a herd of bison. This week, we're in the gym state. We just landed in Boise and we are about to take a drive on the Payette River Scenic Byway. We are headed to a small town called Whitebird where we have an epic adventure plan for tomorrow. <laughs> that we do. But for today, we don't have a whole lot of daylight left, but we couldn't keep this drive to ourselves. So let's not waste any time and get started. Okay, Idaho, we see you. You're gorgeous, okay. So a few quick facts about the Payette River Scenic Byway. It's 112 miles long and it starts just outside of Boise and runs all the way through the town of McCall. And it's one of 31 scenic byways here in the state of Idaho. driving in our awesome Jeep Cherokee, which we got on Turo, which is the first time we've ever used it. It's it like Airbnb for cars. Sorry about that. So it is like Airbnb for rental cars. Yep. This is our first experience ever doing it, so yeah. we will let you know how it goes. Yeah, the pickup went smooth. They had like a little, I think everybody's pickup is different, but ours was easy. A little mm -hmm. lock box on the door. And at the airport? Yeah, dropped it off at the airport for us. And it's clean, it's nice, it's like a rental car. So Except excited. for even better because he actually provided some chargers. And yeah, and like a phone holder. There's a blanket in the back. So yeah. you're right, it is better than yeah. a car rental so far. So far. Comment below if you're part of a yacht club because I want to be friends with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're in a yacht club? Mm How? -hmm. Ah, when? The Redneck Yacht Club. So we made it to McCall. Yay. <laughs> After a really long travel day, Matt and I are both really struggling yeah. to keep our eyes even open. So this was a yeah. great little pit stop. I think we've been up for 16 or 18 hours at this point. <laughs> yeah, but the sunset view at Payette Lake is awesome. Yeah, nice little brisk breeze going right now. Wake me up a little bit, <laughs> take in some sunset views. And then we'll go get food. Sounds good to me. these 
buffalo chips. They're like a sliced potato, but they're fried with like a spicy batter on them. Really good though. Man, it's massive. Look at that. So I was like, I decided to can't complain. It's a nice char on the patties, which I really like. I'm happy. So I had to order Idaho potatoes. I'm really excited. Look at these. Doesn't look very appetizing, but I'm sure it's delicious. The best potato I've ever had. It's really good though. So we just finished dinner and I had my first ever legitimate <laughs> Idaho potato. <laughs> yeah, the food was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of other places that we had thought we were going to go to, um, other options, but they were all closed. All of them. So we all had to them. do some last minute searching and we found this place, Lardo's, I think is how you say it. Mm -hmm. And it didn't disappoint. It was a really cool vibe. When you think about West, this is the place you're thinking of. It was like a saloon style, mm -hmm. meat, potatoes. It was really good. Yeah, I mean, you know it's a good place when they have Harley only parking. So if that tells you anything. <laughs> Listen, so we're gonna go to bed now because we are exhausted and we have a very, very early morning tomorrow. That we do. So we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. We are on our way to our next adventure with continental breakfast in hand. We're just excited that we were actually up after breakfast started. The past handful of trips, we've missed breakfast at hotels because we've been up before the sun has. <laughs> it is 36 degrees, guys, and we are about to head on a jet boat <laughs> tour down, through Hell's Canyon. Down class five rapids. That means we're gonna get wet, guys. So we are <laughs> super excited about it because we're gonna be going with Kilgore Adventures, mm -hmm. but a little bit nervous that it is 36 degrees. It's supposed yeah. to get warmer, but we're wearing so many layers and we know yeah. we're gonna get soaked. Yeah, we're nervous that we're gonna freeze our butts off but only time will tell all right so I'm an idiot I left my cell phone in the hotel and now we have to rush back to get it mm. and hope we're there at Kilgore Adventures on time that was a rookie move and Matt's just not talking to me because he's upset no I'm just not talking because mm -hmm. I'm frustrated so. okay he's the kind of guy who uh, if he has nothing nice to say he just won't say anything at all like my dad. Better than saying something you don't mean, or you do mean. <laughs> I got it. It's underneath my pillow. Rookie move. Yep. Yeah, so now let's see how Mario Andretti gets us there on time. Right now, I think we're only gonna be five minutes late. That's not too bad, but pick it up. We'll be there earlier. So we just checked into our riverboat tour. A little bit more about Kilgore Adventures and what we're going to be doing today. We're doing their Wild River Jet Boat Tour, which is a six hour boat ride down the Snake River through Hell's Canyon. We're gonna be going through <laughs> rapids and seeing wildlife and getting soaked. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Kilgore Adventures is the number one jet boat tour company here in Hell's Canyon. They're family owned and operated, so we are super excited to be on this ride. Let's go catch our boat. <laughs> All the people and everyone's wearing jeans. Me and Matt are the only ones that are dressed to get soaked. So I hope we get wet. We'll see, the weather's gotten a little bit warmer. I think it's 57 degrees now, but so excited. Here we go.
at our first stop of the day, which is Kirkwood Historic Home and Ranch. Because this is what, from the 1800s, I think? Yeah. Could you imagine being here at that time, completely undeveloped, and this being your backyard, front yard, side yard? It's pretty epic. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. So there is a family reunion on the boat with us. So I feel like we're honorary family members, but I'm gonna ask later. This is only I, I, our first hour. I feel hour. like we are. We've already made friends with Aunt Cassandra. And yeah, we're just practically family now. I love it so much. <laughs> at the halfway point, which is Hell's Canyon Dam and Visitor Center, and mm -hmm. we are gonna have a lunch. Yeah, so Kilgore Ventures provides a lunch with a deli sandwich, some jerky, a cookie, some chips, all the fixings, and we can't ask for a better lunch spot. I mean, this view is fantastic. Cookie, all the toppings you want for your sandwich, and macaroni and salad, condiments, napkins, sandwich. Yum. Let's eat. finished up an awesome lunch and we are both stuffed. <laughs> if you like videos and adventures like this, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Also make sure you hit the subscribe button because it's free and it really, really helps out yeah. our channel way more than you know. <laughs> and we're headed to all 50 states this year. This is state number 39 and we would love to have you along on the journey. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any uploads. Also make sure you follow us on Instagram at Adventures of Matt and Nat. We post story highlights of every trip. <laughs>
down our first really big rapid. Yep. This is when we're supposed to get wet if we're gonna get wet. It's warm now, so I'm ready. We'll get wet. Yeah, soaked, <laughs> soaked. Stay seated even if we get wet. Here we go. Soaked. Mission accomplished. Thumbs up. <laughs> it was epic going down those rapids. Mm -hmm. And on the way up, Kurt, the owner and the driver of our boat today, he was telling us that Hell's Canyon, which is the canyon that we are in, is actually the deepest canyon in the U.S., which is pretty amazing, actually. Yeah, the second one was Salmon, Salmon. River Canyon. And then the third, which was so surprising, is the Grand Canyon. This yep. is deeper than the Grand Canyon. It's pretty amazing, I mean, how tall the mountains are around you. I mean, it's just it's breathtaking, really. epic. Book now, <laughs> because you will not regret it. Now, in the summer, they take the top off of this, and mm -hmm. I feel like everyone gets soaked. Yes, because we had a lot of people on our boat that weren't wanting to get wet. Yeah, like 85%. I understand because I understand, it is a very mild day today. It's like 80 degrees though. Yeah, it's but it's a nice mild day. Shout Summertime. out to Chip. <laughs> Chip was like, that's what we paid for to get soaked. <laughs> it so. is, that's what we paid for. <laughs> So we made a quick stop after all the rapids to kind of get dried out and take in the scenery. So we're gonna go check it out. Let's go. So we are headed to get some figs from a fig tree. Yeah, we I don't were, know if I like figs. We were told we had to check it out while we were on this property. <laughs> also, the boat is so fast. Mm -hmm. I think it's like 950 plus horsepower. Yeah, it has three diesel motors on it at 300 plus horsepower each. It's Insane. legit. <laughs> First time eating figs from the fig tree. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Oh, oh wow. I love figs. It's like, it's literally like candy. No like so straight, good. Straight sugar. Look how juicy that thing is. Oh, you probably can't see it. Oh, I ate the whole thing already. Wow. Mm. Oh, that's good. We're the last ones on the boat again. Let's okay. go, let's go, let's go. Everybody's on. Swim stop, but I don't know if we get too many swimmers. It's a little chilly in the river. We'll come back in July and hit that one. You heard the man. We're coming back in July. That 360 at the end. <laughs> oh my gosh. Best boat tour ever. Totally recommend. <laughs> So they don't have any postcards, but don't you worry, we'll get postcards before we <laughs> leave Idaho. But look at all this cool merch that they got. Yeah, so we're gonna find them. something for our monthly giveaway for our patrons. We wanna thank every single one of these names down below. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without you, like upgrade our gear, subscriptions, yep. all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in becoming a patron, check out the link in the description. Ooh, 
it is so bright <laughs> and there are no clouds. No clouds, which is not doing good for our huckleberry ice cream. Looking at, look how it's dripping right now. <laughs> It is amazing. We've never had huckleberry, even though we've been in three states now, this is being the third, all we've heard about is huckleberry ice creams, pies, all of that. And we so didn't we, have a chance to get it in anywhere else. No. So. And this one, they drive a long ways to pick up this fresh, homemade huckleberry ice cream every week to bring it back here. <laughs> all right, let's take it in, because <laughs> it's melting. Mmm. That's good. I love huckleberry. Huckleberry. <gasps> Mm, I've never, we've never had huckleberry. I'm trying to, it's not, it's its own thing. It's not like blueberries. It's not like blackberries. It's so good. You have to try it out. It's yes. awesome. So if you like huckleberry, comment below. <laughs> oh, got my nose. <laughs> All right, today was a whirlwind of a day. It that doesn't feel was. like it was six hours at all. No, yeah, six hours just on the river, not counting the hour drive before that and the hour drive to get back here, but we had an amazing time. The best part about tours are the people that you're in it with. Mm -hmm. Like we said, there was a family reunion, so that was really fun. We got to meet a lot of awesome people. <laughs> yep. So we didn't really get to talk to you as much as we would have liked, but yeah. that's okay. That's, that's the best yeah. experience. Yeah, that's part of traveling is getting to meet people and talk with them. And we did a lot of that today, actually. <laughs> But if this adventure looks like something that you would like to do, we're going to put Kilgore Adventures link down in the description. We had an amazing time and can't recommend it You guys enough. have to check them out. <laughs> but right now, we're going to go finish eating our delicious huckleberry ice cream. We'll see you guys in state number 40. Four zero. We're almost to 50. <laughs> we're just finning lunch. Finning lunch. Lighting is great. <laughs> Oh, you're loud. What? He's so quiet in real life. He scared me. <laughs> Guys, we've been to 39 states and that was the first time I ever saw cowboys. They were wearing <laughs> hats and stuff. It happened so fast that I apologize to all of my friends, girlfriends, my mom, who all wanted a picture of a real cowboy. <laughs> I apologize in advance. Hey, Hornstar. What? Back here, that says Hornstar on it. Horn. No comment. <laughs> Y'all, I just saw Matt like so excited. <laughs> like visually excited about something, which usually doesn't happen. And what was it for? We just passed a couple of mountain lion hunters. If y'all have ever watched the show, Mountain Men, you know that there's a guy on there that hunts mountain lions for the ranchers. And he has hunting dogs, and we just passed like two or three trucks. My favorite, there was a hunting dog on top, and Matt passed it and was like, that's his main hunting dog. It is. 